Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my knitting podcast. Down below in description you can find another social media where you can find me like Instagram and Ravelry. Um, yeah, and all what I'm talking about I'm trying to list down below. So if I talk about some projects I will normally name um, designer name name of the design and uh, then I will put the link to my Ravelry page through which you can find uh, original design or um, if you don't use Ravelry you can just google um, name what I'm posting there um, yeah let's start um, I'm trying to record weekly but last week it wasn't really possible as I was telling week before that my son get corona um, and then day after day we all get sick at home so like four days after this my daughter gets sick and then I and then my husband and um, it wasn't that bad but uh, we just was kind of like exhausted and I didn't had um, neither time to record neither i don't know power to knit even i yeah i didn't want it even to knit so yeah my voice is still not completely recovered so i my nose is stuffed so when i'm talk if i talk strangely i'm sorry but that's what we are having right now but i have some finished objects some work in progress i feel much better now so we're gonna go with this um last time i was sure oh let's start with what i'm wearing it's the same sweater that i was probably recording last time i was showing you this it's sweater that i kind of like designed for myself i use this uh, really soft merino yarn it's like lace weight or like light fingering but i use this to the knit this to the gauge like fingering weight yarn it's have this kind of like reglan construction but when you first in increasing stitches just for body and then from some point you are increasing stitches for sleeves and don't increase stitches for body anymore so it's have this uh, boxy shape and I faded three colors, so it's variegated blue, then blue, and then in the end it's like dark blue. Yeah, I'm sitting near my plant because it's really dark outside. It's like raining, so I'm trying to be as much close to the window as I as I possibly can. So yeah, really like this sweater. Last week was literally living in this. It was uh, easy to pick up. It's soft and nice and have this uh, high neck so it was nice to have this around my um, neck um, yeah it's holding up nicely but I, but I already washed this like twice so I start to see like some small peelings but not that much but it's 100% merino wool uh, I don't think we was in super wash I don't think I was supposed to expect something else yeah let's then go to the finished object i have two one is finished finished and one uh, we will talk later about that one so yeah last time i was showing you i was knitting socks it's rua light by tinkin knit and we'll try to get some sock blocker to show you this I used the soya yarn from don't remember name but it's listed on my Ravelry page so it's have uh, wool nylon and then some another fiber I don't remember which exactly but the socks look like that so it's have this garter ridge part um, on front and yeah they look strange on my sock blocker because it's uh, I have a uh, foot size 37 and uh, the socks are knitted for men so they are much much bigger um yeah but I knit this to the pattern maybe shorten it some part but uh, 
the part the, the pattern called for cuff down socks with uh, gusset healing gusset and my days normally i'm doing short row heels but i decided to go with this and i really like it how it looks so i don't know how much exactly yarn i use but i still have some leftovers and i was knitting it on my eddie's trio um yeah completed the pair like it yarn feels really soft and nice maybe i have tagged yes i have tagged that i can read you what it is um so yeah it's 60 percent wool 20 percent polyamide and 20 percent viscose yeah and it's really soft and nice so i have one more ball of this yarn i get this for presents like two years ago i have pink color so i guess i gonna make socks for myself but uh, have so many socks but yarn is really nice can recommend this so it's a meal and weight soya by lana grossa i believe it's german company um, yeah really nice yarn like it so that's my first finished object yeah and i hold this project in the bag what i saw for myself a couple of years ago when i believe i just was starting to knit so yeah like it happy that i finished this really like yarn let's go further so last time i also showed you that i started the cardigan it called raw cardigan by michelle michelle wonk um yeah really nice pattern the um, look really nice there was one concern what i had to this pattern it's knitted in pieces i'm okay with um knit in the pieces there's one thing what i'm not really like it's sewing parts together but i decide for this nice pattern i gonna pull through this another thing what i don't really like about knitting in pieces um, you cannot really try it while you're knitting this, so you should just trust the pattern, trust measurements and go with that and hope that sweater is gonna turn out right size for you. Um, I have a problem with the pattern. There is no problem in the pattern description or anything like this. So I'm gonna try to show you the sweater. I don't know how good you can see it. Um, yeah. So basically it's all over cable sweater. The lighting is horrible. I will try to show like this. This is the back of sweater. A back of sweater, it have like three sets of the cables. It's have like big panel in the middle and then two panels on the sides and it's had this double moss stitch on the sides and then sleeves also have one of the side panels and the front also have this and then it's big uh, collar like shawl collar around so the cardigan have is knitted it's quite long one yeah and I knew that that's not the best fit for me. I'm not the tallest person. Um, so long sweaters don't really suit me. It's make me look even shorter. So I like to crop things um, because the sweater is made at top down. Yeah, bottom up, not top down, bottom up. So I just tried to measure how much I will need to the point when I need to separate sleeves and just went with this um, like around how much it will be um, the yarn and um, I made the swatch before starting it I wasn't making this in a, the yarn what pattern call for but I was using this uh, yarn what I had in a stash it's called Vital Superwash by Yatagon um, yeah it's had similar Midridge, it's have like um, 115 meters per 50 gram and it's super wash wool. I like the color. So I went with this. Uh, the yarn is stretched 
quite a lot. Uh, it feels really nice in the fabric, feels nice in the ball, but it stretches. So maybe it's not the best thing for this sweater, but that's like this. So as I was measuring this, as I was wanted length and how it turned out was a little different. It was, it's grow a little more as I expected. I didn't expect it to grow because I made swatch and it wasn't really different from the, from how it looked when I just knitted. But the finished garment was longer, but it wasn't that much longer. It was okay. The more problem I get that sleeves, I was, it's hard for me to measure sleeves when they need to be sewn in after so they turn out a lot longer as it should be so my concern now i should or rip out all sleeves and then re-knit them completely because they are knitted also bottom up i cannot just like rip in the bottom and shorten them so i should or rip the sleeves completely out and then try to re-knit it or I saw that I will make some surgery and uh, will put uh, try to catch one row uh, before I think the ribbing on the sleeves should start and then cut from there, pick up stitches and knit from there down um, just ribbing to finish the sleeves so that's one of my problem. Second problem is that you, if it's this sweater you knit in uh, front, back, then you can like sew them together and you picking up the stitches for the collar and the knitting collar on the needle. It's quite, um, it's not like unique construction. It's kind of like you do like that. The problem is I didn't wash the collar yet. But the problem is in the back, in the bottom of the sweater, where I have this, uh, the sweater have ribbing. I don't know how good you can see this, but it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like look like it's a little shorter is this. Maybe it will stretch out when I wash it, but I'm wondering what if not, um, if the sweater will be pulling like this all the time. I'm not really happy with that fit. Um, so I kind of like don't know, should I wash it again, lay it flat and look how that will be, or I don't know, should I make sleeves first, then wash all together? Yeah, I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. I really want to have the sweater like a finished object. Maybe I can try to wear this for you. I didn't wear any ends yet. And this sweater have dropped sleeve so i don't know how good that will look but yeah this sweater is turned out quite oversized on me so it will be like cozy sweater to have at home but um, yeah this is how much i should roll the sleeve to be the side good for me if i don't roll they look okay it's over i'm overdoing this but my hand is completely in in that and even if i will roll it it will don't good look that good so yips it's not the best my work um another thing the pattern is called you making this ribbon and then you fold in it and it's sewn to the sewn or bind off to the edge but i don't really like how it's look on this yarn so probably will be just doing like that folding i need to roll the sleeves again so yeah it's not so great here because my sweater what is under this have drop shoulders but i will try to show you what i mean in the bottom with the ribbon so it's look like that so sweater is going here but this ribbon is actually pulling it up so I hope it will stretch if I wash it, but I don't know. So if you have some idea or recommendation, what should I do? Just please write. Other than this, I like sweater. It's like little oversized, way too oversized for me. 
but uh, I just understood that that's my problem. Um, yeah, I'm picking up two big sizes for myself because I think, uh, I don't know, that I'm a big person or something like that. And with this sweater, I pick up size number three. It probably with how it turned out, I think I was should pick up size number one. But we had what we had, we get what we was asking for, yeah. So yes, if you had idea how to fix the problem with sleeves and with this collar, please write comment down below and like help me to um, save all this work. That was a lot. Because as I tell, it's have cabling and you it's knitted all in pieces and then seamed together. Yeah, that was a lot of hours. I believe I had like 15 balls of this yarn and I had um, three and little uh, more left. So I used 12 ball, 12, 50 gram balls of this yarn. But now sweater is almost finished. If I wasn't making that long sleep, then I probably will save one more ball, but we have what we have. Um, yeah, so that was my one finished object and one what is finished, but probably will need to have some be fixed before I can wear this. Now let's go to work in progress. Um, yeah. I don't know how about you, but I feel really precious about yarn, especially about hand dyed yarn and um, normally all the yarn what I'm getting for my cozy memory blanket that I'm working with, many of that was hand dyed or the sock yarn with this with nice colors. And sometimes I had less than three grams and I know that three grams it's around that amount of yarn what I need to make at least one square and I had some balls what wasn't three grams and some was just like really small balls and I had the jar that I was saving them in and I decided to try something new and I decided that I will try to make for myself a, I will try to make for myself a project bag using this scraps and uh, one main color so i made the swatch and then went marlin this leftover colors so i made the swatch and start making start marlin the colors i will try to insert pictures of how small balls i had that you have idea what i was dealing with so I pick up, here it's not look like that, but I pick up colors what I had uh, that had like some blue and some green and was doing combination of this. I, I don't know how good you can see this, but I think you can have an idea. Yeah, and then I just knitted this first in a round and then two pieces flat. And then here I will be like sewing it together to make a square bottom. bottom. Um, yeah, it was quite painful because I tried to make uh, the fabric, I don't know, quite durable, that it will last longer. Um, so I knitted this, uh, so I used like two th th threads finger and weight yarn and was knitting this on uh, two and a half millimeter needles um, yes so I don't finish it yet it should be sewn here I want to pick up zipper zipper of this size and I want to sew uh, inserting this like inside of this bag so I'm gonna measure first how this piece turned out I already washed and blocked it and then we'll make part which should go inside, uh, put the zipper in and probably we'll have a project bag. My thought is when I was knitting this, 
it's have like here i like texture here like the color combination but inside it look more interesting as i think i don't know it's have southern of ants yes and uh but the texture here look different so i'm still concerned which sides side should i use yeah what do you think should i use this side with like more colorful or the side what is like real right side of this patterns look like that i don't know but i'm really excited for this and uh, if i saw this together and i like it i probably will use my another scraps to do more of this bags um yeah that was cool project to work it was quite i didn't work a lot on this because it was quite painful as i tell small needles um two strands of yarn but uh, that was cool so that's my first work in progress another work in progress is just my blanket don't know how can i show you this it is my cozy memory blanket right now i pick up stitches for next square and they're gonna make it this yarn it was um, cotton sock yarn so it's have cotton and nylon but it's behave like another sock yarn um i need shorty socks i have pattern free pattern on ravelry for them i will link down below um yeah i like this yarn and now right now i'm just putting squares and i literally counting down squares so what i make on my on the pro ravelry page you can leave notes to your project when you're working and i just started to counting down so i count down how much squares i need to make to finish this and now i'm just like each time i i don't know make five squares or ten or something like that i'm just like taking out of that numbers what it was before and like getting down right now i'm down to 59 squares so um with some luck maybe in a month i can have all squares finished and just will need to work edge and move all thousands of the ends what i have um yeah that was all of my knitting and now i'm gonna show you my um yarn dyeing experiments what i'm still continuing with um yeah let's see so just yesterday i wind i wind that ball um i will try to insert some pictures i didn't knit it because i made just one ball um but i tried to make like flamingo colors so i make like black for legs then they have some red colors then i had pink color with red speckles i know it's hard to see but it's there yeah then there's one more pink color it's lighter and don't have speckles it's just variegated pink and then there's white color with pink speckles i really like it <laughs> it's so interesting to make this uh, self-striping um, yarn it takes long time because there's special setup how to start this and then you basically have five colors to dye this is five color repeat but it's really fun and i think it will be fun to knit it also i have it you can find this yarn on my etsy um, store and i will put links down below so that's one of my latest experiment then i have one more color i had something similar before so it's like um, two different shades of gray color then there's some green blue and uh, some 
to know how to describe this color, right? It's like greenish gray color. It's hard to see in the camera, but once again, I will insert some pictures of this. Um, and for me, it's look like something connected with a sea, like sea, beach on the sea, and a sea, or sea glass, something like this. Really like this color. They are completely different. But again, this is also five color cell striped yarn. And the last one color, it look like that. Um, I want this on the sock blocker because I don't gonna knit it as I have just one um, ball of this yarn. So I just kind of like wind this on the sock blocker to have idea how it's gonna stripe so the yarn look like that and with this i experiment um, experiment and one of the stripe this brownish is dyed with avocado avocado um yeah it was kind of like interesting idea so this three balls are gonna go to my etsy store today they're really different, but I like all of them. It's a hundred gram balls and yeah, I gonna ship worldwide. Um, we don't really have a problem with the postage in Denmark now. It's going slow, but it's going slow all over the world. So it's not something what I'm afraid of. Yeah, that was all my knitting for today i hope you're fine and you have time for your knitting and i will see you next time see you hi